Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be going over the MH-C980 Turbocharger Analyzer and how to use it. This charger charges up to 8 AA or AAA nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium batteries independently. When I say charge them independently, that means you can charge any amount of batteries you want. You can charge one battery, three batteries, or any amount up to eight batteries. And yes, you can charge both double A's and triple A batteries at the same time. This charger has a dew point mode, which is just a regular soft charge. It has a turbo mode and a conditioning mode. I'll go over these modes in just a bit. It also has a backlit LCD screen, which displays the status of each battery and it has a fan at the bottom, which is a thermal management system to keep batteries cool during charge. To get started with any of the modes, always start with no batteries in the charger. Then plug the power connector to the charger first. Then plug the AC adapter to the wall outlet. Now you can insert your AA or AAA batteries. For best performance, insert your batteries in slot one first, from left to right. When inserting batteries to the charger, make sure you always start from the bottom of the battery, which is the negative side. For AA batteries, you will use the top silver contact, and then you can press the top positive side. For the AAA, you're going to want to use this small silver contact here at the bottom. And what you're going to do is push in the battery. Don't push it down. You push it in and push the positive side so it can stay tightly in place. Okay, now that we got all the basics out of the way, let's go into when and how to use each of the modes. Please note that the charging time may vary for each mode depending on the battery capacity and how much charge is remaining in the battery. As I mentioned before, the charger has a default, a turbo, and conditioning mode. We'll start with the default mode. This mode is a regular soft charge and you use it when charging time is not critical. You just insert the batteries, no button selection is needed, and you're set. It does a slow, soft charge, so it charges in about two to three hours. We always recommend charging it at a slower rate whenever possible. It maximizes the battery's life and its performance. To use this mode, insert your AA or AAA batteries, starting in slot one from left to right. And I'll go ahead and insert all eight batteries that we have a better idea of what it looks like. Once each battery is inserted, it'll start charging that slot. Each slot number will start flashing, indicating it's charging. You will see a triangle arrow moving under each number. It's indicating that the information displayed on the screen is for that particular slot number. Please note that the displayed MAH number represents the amount of energy that is going into the battery. It's not the actual capacity of the battery. Think of it as when you put gas into your car. The gas pump will display how many gallons of gas is being pumped into your car and not what it actually holds. The charging time will take about two to three hours. The charge rate for the double A's is 1000 milliamps and 500 milliamps for the triple A's. Once a battery is done charging, the slot number will stop flashing and remain solid. The charger will display done for each slot that is done charging and that will be indicated at the bottom. The charge battery can be removed for use. The final displayed MAH number you see on the screen 
represents the amount of energy that was charged into the battery. It's not the actual capacity of the battery. The charger will go into standby mode once all batteries are done charging. To completely turn off the charger, just unplug it from the wall. By the way, you can see the battery process for each slot by scrolling left and right. To scroll right, press the turbo button. To scroll left, press the conditioning button. Now, let's go to the turbo mode. You use this mode when you need to charge your batteries at a faster time. It charges twice as fast as the default mode. It charges in about one hour to one and a half hours. We recommend this mode for AA batteries that have a capacity of at least 2000 mAh and AAA batteries that have a capacity of at least 700 mAh. The turbo mode is activated for all battery slots at the same time and cannot be activated for each individual battery. It can't be used together with the conditioning mode. If charging has started in the default mode, you can no longer change it to a different mode. You must reset the charger to start over. This happens when no other mode has been selected within the time frame. To use this mode, insert one battery in the first left slot. Within five seconds, press the turbo button. The turbo symbol will be displayed on the LCD screen. Now you may enter the remaining batteries. And I'll go ahead and answer all eight batteries that we have a better idea of what it looks like. Please note that the displayed MAH number represents the amount of energy that is being put into the battery. It's not the actual capacity of the battery. Charging time will take about one hour to one and a half hours. The charge rate for the AA's is 2000 milliamps and 1000 milliamps for the AAA's. Once the battery is done charging, the slot number will stop flashing and remain solid. The charger will display done for each slot that is done charging and that will be indicated here at the bottom. That charged battery can be removed for use. The final displayed MAH number you see on the screen represents the amount of energy that was charged into the battery. It's not the actual capacity of the battery. The charger will go into standby mode once all the batteries are done charging. To completely turn off the charger, just unplug it from the wall. Please note, that the turbo mode will remain activated even if charging is completed. The charger will reset to the default mode when all batteries are removed and the turbo symbol will disappear. Now let's talk about the conditioning mode. You use this mode when you need to analyze your batteries. It rescues degraded batteries and also helps batteries that have been sitting in storage for a while. This mode rejuvenates and cycles the batteries. It applies a special conditioning cycle which restores battery performance. It does require up to 24 hours to complete the cycle, so it's definitely something you want to do when you have the extra time to do this. We recommend using this mode every six months or once a year to ensure battery performance. The conditioning mode is activated for all battery slots at the same time and cannot be activated for each individual battery. It cannot be used together with a turbo mode. To use this mode, insert one battery in the first left slot. Within five seconds, press the conditioning button. The conditioning symbol will be displayed on the LCD screen. Now you may answer the remaining batteries. And I will go ahead and insert all eight batteries. That way you have a better idea of what it looks like. Okay. 
the conditioning load can take up to 24 hours to complete. The conditioning cycle has five steps. The charger will charge all the batteries, then it will rest for one hour. Then it will condition all the batteries, then it will recharge all the batteries. The charger will display done when the batteries are fully charged and that will be indicated here at the bottom. The displayed MAH capacity represents the available capacity of the battery. Please note that the fan will be on only for the charging steps and not for the resting and discharging steps. The charger will go into standby mode once all the batteries are done charging. To completely turn off the charger, unplug the charger from the wall. The charger gives you the option to permanently turn the backlight on or off while in use. To turn it on, press and hold the conditioning and turbo button at the same time until the light turns on. To turn it off, press and hold the conditioning and turbo buttons at the same time until the light turns off. This will reset it back into the default mode again. Also, the backlight screen will go back into the default mode once the charger has been unplugged. One of the most frequently asked questions we get is if you can leave the batteries in the charger. Once the batteries are done charging, you can leave them in the charger. You don't have to take them out right away. However, we don't recommend storing your batteries in the charger once you store your charger away. We recommend just using a battery holder to store your batteries. Plus, look at them more organized this way. And that's it. Hope this helped answer any of your questions and how to use a charger. Please like this video if it helped and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.